four and a half effortless tips to help you get out of your own way right now. I'm Sylvester making up the third. Let's dive in. Number one, you have to figure out what pain is inside of you. You have to figure out what pain is driving you. When we are driven by pain, we cannot be at our highest level. Pain helps us stay and operate at lower level. Pain stops us from discovering our truth. Pain stops us from discovering our love, our destiny, our purpose, our internal inspiration. When you have nothing but pain inside of you, you will always attract new pain to match the pain that's inside of you. The reason you're not getting out of your own way is because you have not dealt with the pain that has been given to you. Pain is the ultimate deception. It tells you you're not good enough when you are. Pain tells you that you need to suffer and you don't deserve to suffer. In order to get out of your own way, you need to figure out what pain you're dealing with because your pain makes you the slave and the master. You're a slave to the past because of the pain that occurred in the past so it keeps you there but you're the master because you can free yourself from this pain once you revisit it once you understand it and once you're able to let it go in order to free yourself from the pain of the past you have to free yourself from the dialogue the inner dialogue you have the inner dialogue is how you heal. And that leads me to my second point. Your inner dialogue is how you heal. Your inner dialogue is how you get out of your own way. Your inner dialogue is the most important conversation you'll ever have. Do you have encouraging thought? Do you have self-defeating thought? How do you talk to yourself? What do you say to yourself? Part of getting out of your own way is checking yourself and listening to yourself, listening to the way you talk to yourself. If you don't talk to yourself in a positive way, why would the rest of the world follow suit? Everyone else is going to treat you in a way that's reflective of how you treat yourself. Treat yourself well. Treat yourself with love. Treat yourself with care. And then you show the people around you by action how to treat you. This transforms your life. So one of the ways that you get out of your own way is to focus on that inner dialogue and watch how it transforms your life. Instead of saying, I can't do it, just say, I have not been able to. Instead of saying, I'm suffering, say that I'm learning. Instead of saying, I'm not good enough, say, I'm practicing my craft. I'm practicing and learning so I can put myself in a position to be worthy. And that leads me to number three. And this might be the most important thing. You have to change behavior. To get out of your own way, you have to change your behavior. Behavior. A lot of us waste time trying to figure out what to change or what to add. Don't start there. That will waste your time. What you need to start with is why. When you ask why, you put belief behind it. You put reason. You put logic. You put emotion. You put your brain. You put your soul. That's why you got to ask yourself why. Don't ask yourself anything else other than what is my why at this moment? Why am I doing that? When you ask why, that's how you get motivated. And that's how you stay motivated. You will always be inspired to reach your goals, to lust for life. When you know why you're doing what you're doing. Simply ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? And you might come to the conclusion that you don't have an answer and that's gonna free you. Because when you realize you don't have an answer for why you're doing something, you might have to let it go. Man. And then you might fill your life with things that fulfill you, things that you can explain. Hey, this is in my life because of this reason. And that's in my life because of that reason. That's how you take your life from unfulfilled to fulfilled. That's how you take your life from I don't know what I'm doing to I know what I'm doing. That's how you take your life from, oh my God, another Monday to yeah, it's Monday, let's get it. That's how you change. You ask yourself why. In order to free yourself from the pain of the past, you have to free yourself from the dialogue, the inner dialogue you have. The inner dialogue is how you heal. One of the ways you get out of your own way is to detach from your past. It's okay to appreciate the memories and to appreciate what you've learned. But what we have to understand is that our past can condition us to block blessings in our future. The pain that we experienced in our past is simply that. It was an experience. You couldn't tell me what you ate for lunch 28 days ago, could you? Nope 
because it doesn't matter. You're concerned about what you're going to eat for lunch today. So why do you obsess about the stories and the things you experienced when you were nine? and 14 and 18 and 22 yes they happen to you so acknowledge them deal with them understand them feel them go through that pain but for your present moment you have to detach from them you have to be able to observe that you had an experience and that you are having an experience they're two different things because all you have is now this experience now will free you but when you stay consistently stay telling yourself these stories you believe these stories you believe that because someone didn't treat you well in the past that nobody should treat you well now and that's false that's why you treat you well and then you teach the other people around you to treat you well because you believe that today i'm not telling you to let go of the past remember it if you choose to but i'm telling you to detach from it to stay in the moment to stay here to stay present to stay aware of what you have today. All you have is what you have today. So wake up, do the best that you can with this day here, with these hours here, with these thoughts here, with these behaviors here, and that's all you can do. You can't change the past, you can't change the future. All you can do is impact the now. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell notification when I drop the next video next Monday, it'll come right to your cell phone. Take care, you guys. Keep loving. Keep living.